Hi there, I'm Mike, and what I have for you today is Culture Flies, Dunder Mifflin, The Office Box. I'm guessing it's the holiday themed one because it's so close to Christmas and there's lights over it and I mean, what better episodes of The Office, my favorite TV show, than the ones that are themed around Christmas. They're, even the last two seasons, just nobody likes. I feel like the holiday ones, the Christmas ones are the best. Enough of this garbage. This is Christmas. So let's, let's not make any further ado and just jump straight into it. I will say before I start pulling stuff out though, other than this, uh, is that I do get this for free. So, I mean, my views are my own. I can trash this box as much as I want. They want my honest opinion of it. Let's take a look and see what we got. Firstly, it's because it was on top. I don't usually do this first, but this is a stocking that says impish or admirable. Uh, in the last Christmas episode, in the last season, Dwight uh, had a uh, like an Amish Christmas thing going on, or Pen Pennsylvania Dutch Christmas, uh, where he dressed as, uh, I don't even remember the guy's name, honestly. Oh, judgment is nigh, for the Belschnickel is I. Yes, he is finally nigh. I am nigh! Belschnickel, is that it? I think that's it. Anyways, this is something of an article of clothing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So in one of the episodes, I think it was, I wanna say it was like season five or so, they got bathrobes. Uh-uh, no one has seconds until everyone's had some. You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. And this is it, this is the bathrobe. And you know what's funny about this is that I haven't owned a bathrobe in like 20 years. So that's just kind of nice. So we're just gonna kind of tie that around. I don't think the bathrobes quite look like this in the episode, but uh, it's close enough. I don't like that the sleeves don't come down all the way. I think that's actually normal for a bathrobe. I feel like I should be pushing them up, but I can't because they won't stay and they won't come all the way down. So it's like a halvesy kind of thing. I'm a wizard, Harry. So I got a bathrobe. That's neat. Next, we have a teapot from, uh, I think this is the second season of the show. There was the, still the whole, you know, uh, Pam, Jim, will they, won't they? Pam's got a fiance, but he's not the right guy for her. Jim is, and he gave her this teapot because she loves tea and he put some stuff in it. Um, and I actually don't think that this is what the teapot looks like. I don't think it was actually this color. I definitely didn't say anything, but I know that's more just a kind of on a thing, but it says, I think I made the right choice right here, which is what she says. This is an amazing gift because it comes with bonus gifts. Oh my God, <laughs> the yearbook picture. Yeah, I think I made the right choice. It's a teapot from the episode, kind of. All right, next. Now these are some things I probably will put on my tree. If you watched my last unboxing, uh, where I, I got a Superman ornament, and I'm like, oh, Superman's not my thing. I don't think I'm gonna put it on the tree. But uh, this, I, I probably will put on the tree. Lily, I'm not even sorry if you don't like it. Um, I can hide them in the back if you're not a big fan of them, but I love The Office and I want office ornaments on my tree. So we have a little bobblehead Dwight. We've got a uh, world's best boss coffee mug. And we have a Dundee, the Dundees. So in here is gonna be a mystery squishy. Don't know what it's gonna be. It is a ream of paper. It could have been a mug uh, Bears Beats Battlestar Galactica ball, which would have been the best. Cause, oh, it's not a ball, it's an actual like, beat or a pretzel day one. Of all of those, I think the only one I really, really would have wanted is the beat that says Bear Beats Battlestar Galactica. I mean, this is fine. It's just, it's a stress ball. All the fun of a stress ball. None of the fun of a ream of paper. Next, we have the pin. The pin is from the teapot episode that I alluded to earlier. Dwight is putting it up his nose because he won it in a white elephant gift that wasn't supposed to be a white elephant gift. It was kind of sort of turned into one and he 
was talking about how he's going to use the teapot to clear out his sinuses. It's sort of a neti pot situation. Next, we have more holiday greeting cards because why not? So we have number one, we got a little Dwight looking through uh, the blinds with some holiday decorations on there. Next, we have the very infamous picture with uh, two kids playing the saxophone where Angela loved it. I think it was a gift for Angela and Oscar hates it. And he like, they have a whole fight about it. Next, we have the picture that Pam painted of the office building. And then we have a whole, a shoot farm thing. People love beats. I don't actually think anyone ever says that in the show, but uh, yeah, so there's those and then there's envelopes for it. That's kind of nice. And then lastly, we have wrapping paper. They're standard for a box around this time of year, but when you get two boxes, it sort of loses that luster. It loses that charm, especially when you didn't like it that much the first time around. Now it just feels like uh, more of the same. But this time, instead of getting three pieces of wrapping paper, we only get two. So the nice thing though, well, I guess this one is a little more holiday themed because there are some like holiday lights on there. If it hadn't been for the lights, this could just be office wrapping paper. This one though is more just kind of generic office. So you could, in theory, use this for, you know, birthdays, anything. I mean, anything you'd want to wrap a thing in. So that's it, that's it for the box. Uh, let me put this together and give you my thoughts on it and I'll come right back. So welcome back to the roundup portion of my unboxing where I give it a final score. Now, I have to say, this has probably been the worst box for The Office that I've got. I've only gotten three. This one is easily, hands down, in my opinion, the worst. I'm only giving this box a total of 4.5. For all the items in it, I find that most of them feel cheap and not worth hardly any points whatsoever. So that being said, let's go through here and I'm gonna give you a breakdown. First, let's start off with the big item, well, one of the big items, the robe. I like the robe. The robe, I don't feel, I feel like it was a little darker on screen, but at the same time, it's a robe. It's actually a robe that fits. It's a robe that's pretty comfortable. I like it. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna go wash it. It's gonna hang on my bathroom uh, and that's gonna be nice. I'm gonna give it the full point and it's worth a point. Next, we have the teapot. The teapot is also gonna be worth a point because it is a thing. This is a thing that's kind of a hefty item. I'm gonna give it a 0.25 because I don't think that A, matches what we get in the show hardly at all and B, I just don't have any use for a teapot. We have an electric kettle that we use all the time for you know hot beverage related items. My wife and I actually have a Death Star themed teapot we got for our wedding and we still haven't used that and that's Star Wars related. There's no way I'm gonna be using an office related teapot. It's just not a thing that's gonna happen. And that's it for like the big items. Like there wasn't anything else. Everything else is like cheap little stuff that you get in like a gift shop or something. So starting off with the you know, $3 little uh, stocking here. I'm not giving it anything. There's nothing I like about this. I, it just feels bottom of the barrel scraping. It's not a Christmas episode I want to remember. It was from the worst season. No points whatsoever there. Uh, the ornaments though are a different story. I like the office ornaments and I'm gonna put them on my tree, but they are just kind of cheap little ornaments. So I'm gonna give them a half point, but they're gonna be worth that full half point. Next, we have the holiday cards. Inside, like normal, there's nothing in it, but I do like the office kind of postcard type things, but they're not postcards, they're actual cards. They come with envelopes, so it's only gonna be worth a half point, but I'm gonna give it that full half point as well. Uh, the gift wrapping, we only got two. It's just paper. I said this before on my last unboxing, where gift wrapping at its best is still just garbage. I'm gonna wrap it around something I actually care about, that person's going to rip through it and then it's gonna get thrown away or burned. It's just not that great as something to give me for the money I gave you. So I'm going to give this a 0.25 because at least it's office theme, I like that. And then we also had the pin. The pin is also only gonna be worth a half point, but I like this pin. It's nice, it's hefty, I think it's funny or it reminds me of something that's funny at the very least. So I'm gonna give it the full half point for being a half point pin. And then because they gave us this and this is extra. This is not supposed to be on the actual box. Like this is not in my little cheat sheet whatsoever. So I'm counting it as a bonus item. I'm giving it an extra 0.25 on the box because it is a little extra something. 
but it's just also not something I really super care about, but it was nice of them to throw a little something extra in the box. So that's gonna give us a total of 3.25 out of 4.5. That is a 70% score, which sounds great, but when you consider this is a quarterly box and it's a little bit of an expensive box, I feel like the fact that it was only worth a total of four and a half, when usually it's like six or seven, it's not great. The box is definitely missing something substantial. I did mostly kind of like the stuff that I got, but I don't really feel like this box was worth the money that I didn't spend on it. Had I spent money on it, I would have felt, I feel like, a little cheated. But that's it for my unboxing of the Office Christmas box. Thanks for watching, thanks for getting this far. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for more notifications when I post videos. I'd love to take a moment to thank my Patreon supporters here for supporting me on Patreon at unboxing level or higher. If Patreon's not your thing, I do have a YouTube channel membership that also helps pay the bills. And if that's not your thing, there's a couple of different ways down in the downstairs area where you can help the channel out up to and including actually buying a box. If you want to get either this or a future office box or one of the other boxes, there's a link down there that gives me a little kickback. It helps you out, I think, a little bit too. And that's it. Uh, but with that, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far. I'll see you later. Bye.